my name is Delia Ferreira. Um, I nominated my brother Alfredo Ferreira and his partner Natalie. Uh -huh. I saw um, an ad kind of like for um, the Homewood of Chevrolet giveaway and um, I thought about that because recently um, in late September um, they were going to pick up their baby Melody from a place called Almost Home in Naperville, which is like a transitional home between the hospital and getting baby home. Um, their baby was born prematurely. And um, I remember that in order for them to go pick her up, they did like a safety check on their car and it was deemed non-reliable. Um, the seatbelts weren't working and there were other things. So in order for them to go pick up the baby, they had to borrow a car. And with baby Melody, um, she has some um, long-term care. Yeah. Yes. So there's a lot of doctor visits. So it's going back and forth to the Children's Hospital in Oak Lawn on 95th Street. And it's always kind of like, you know, calling on our dad, can we borrow your car? Calling on Natalie's mom, can we borrow your car? So that they can take the baby to those doctor's appointments. So I figured, you know, if they could have a shot at winning this car, that it wouldn't be a luxury for them. It would be a necessity for them. So you guys want to say a little bit about maybe Melody? Yeah, so this is Melody. She just turned um, one this past October. Um, Melody was uh, in the hospital for 11 months of, of her life due to uh, the diagnosis that they gave us. She had pulmonary lung dysplasia, which is her lungs are underdeveloped and are always in a fragile state. So they ended up having to do a tracheostomy tube. Oh, you guys can see that right there. Um, because she needs uh, a vent machine to help her breathe and 24-7. Um, so throughout that time, like my sister had mentioned, uh, we had to do frequent visits. And a lot of those visits became attempts due to the fact that we couldn't um, make it because of our car complications. And we would always have to rely on somebody else's car, but it was not always uh, an option. Um, so for those first 11 months of our of, of Melody's life, it felt like me and Natalie were not really part of it um, due to the fact that we, we couldn't be there uh, every day. And since she's came home, we've had uh, three occasions where we've had to rush her into the ER, but on all three occasions, we have, we have had to call Natalie's mom and wait um, about five to eight minutes for her to get there since she's the closest one that lives to us. Um, and in those five to eight minutes, every time, it, it could be life or death for, for Melody because of her fragile lung state. So having a car that's, that's reliable, that we can take all of her equipment with, because she does require a lot of uh, machines um, to travel from doctor visits or when we have to go to the ER, um, that would be one less step that we would have to worry about or we wouldn't have to worry about somebody else um, to, to make sure that her, li her life is, is safe um, when she has uh, those uh, emergency runs to the, to the hospital. So, just having that that car um, would mean the world not not just to have like um, like my sister said a, a luxury, but it would mean the world to us because it would mean that Melody is uh would have a safer way of, of traveling. Yeah, and then with her G tube and trig, there are special like therapies that she gets. It's like from five to six. As she grows, the list is gonna get longer. So just for us to be traveling with her back and forth, we never know we're gonna go to Oakland or Naperville for these therapies. So. Again, it would it's essential for her to be safe, and that's our biggest like I don't know, concern for her just to be okay traveling and yeah. And, just, yeah. and and she's actually um in the hospital right now because of one of those um emergency occasions that happened last week, and she'll be going to the transitional care in Naperville um next week, and um if we were to receive the car, that would be a um, we would have a, a way to go and pick her up and come back and not have to worry about somebody else to do that um, for us. So, so this is why I decided to nominate them and we hope that we win. <laughs>